Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a tutorial on how to install Gamma, because somebody has asked me to. Uh, yes, this video is dedicated to Stormtrooper J for asking me to make this video. So, uh, it is February the 2nd of March 2023, so this video may become irrelevant in the future, uh, but, you know, for now, it, while it is current, then... This should be a useful tutorial for the next, I don't know, give it a month at least. Uh, you know, the install changes from time to time, it gets updated and stuff. Uh, oh, actually, <laughs> before I begin, it's important to have a clean workspace, so I'm going to tidy up my desktop. Sorry about that. I'll be right back. I'll spend a few minutes tidying this up. Okay, there we go. I spent, I spent a few minutes, you know, cleaning the desktop up, so we got a clean workspace for this. So, you're going to want to have... You know, your Discord, your Gamma Discord open on the How to Install tab. And I'll go through all of these step by step. Uh, very important not to miss anything in here. And uh, I'll link the Gamma Discord down in the description so you can find it easily. So it says you'll need 70 gigabytes of free space. And I recommend installing Gamma on a... Uh, external hard drive or an external SSD, uh, a, a clean empty one. So I've got a clean empty uh, hard drive here. I'm not going to use my SSD because that's where my actual Gamma install already is. So we're gonna, gonna just do it on the empty hard drive. Uh, like I, I, ch I say do it on an empty one because I first time I installed Gamma I did it on my local disk so you can see how full that is there. And um, it, the game ran terribly. It was stuttery, it was, you know, it crashed quite a bit more, it loaded very slowly. So then, then I actually tried it on the hard drive, and it ran perfectly. No hitching, no crashing, no stuttering. But it loaded slowly, so then I moved it over to the SSD, and it, you know, same as the hard drive, except now it just loaded a lot faster. So I would recommend putting it on an empty SSD, or an empty hard drive if you, you know, don't have the SSD available. So next it says you'll need 7-zip or WinRAR. Um, you know, most of you will already have those. They're very, you know, they're quite important programs to have on your computer if you download a lot of stuff off the internet and you need to unpack it. But uh, yeah, the link is here. You can go there. You can download that. You probably already have it, though. So then the first thing we're going to need to download is the Anomaly 1.5.1. .1. So you can follow the link here takes you to the mod db page and you can just click download now right here so i'll download that because i actually don't have it pre-downloaded so you'll open this and you wait a few seconds and if it doesn't pop up down here in the left you can click that but there it is so we'll give that a few minutes to download well once that's finished downloading you can just find it in your downloads folder and you just want to bring it over to the the hard drive you're installing on uh, so I'm using the external one, you just drag that over and let it copy in. Okay, so back into Discord, the next thing it says, we'll need it, the update to 1.5.2 for Anomaly, so you can find that on this link. And just click download now. And again, it should just pop up in the corner, but if it doesn't, hit that button there. And once that's finished downloading, we'll pop it into the, um, into the hard drive as well. And once that's done, you'll find it in your downloads as well, and you just pop it over into the hard drive. Okay, so next thing it says we need is the Gamma installation client. So follow any of these mirrors. Potentially dangerous download. Love it. Um, and then you just take any one of these. I think they're all exactly the same. Yeah, these are all exactly the same, I do believe. But I just take the top one anyway. And yeah, just wait for that to download, and we'll chuck it over into the hard drive as well once it's done. Okay, and grab that from your downloads, pop it into the hard drive. Okay, so the next thing, uh, number five, is the, uh, what's what's that, the add-ons archive. So, go here, and it's the same site, and yeah, there's only one mirror for this one, just grab that. It's quite large, so it should take maybe 20 minutes or so. Okay, so once you've got that, just pop it over, and that's the last piece of Lego we need to build our Millennium Falcon. Okay, so we have all the pieces here. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to make a new folder inside the hard drive, 
And you want to name that, say, uh, we'll just call it Anomaly. And then inside Anomaly, you want to take the uh, Anomaly 1.5.1, pop it in there, right-click on it, and depending whether you've got 7-zip or WinRAR, you open this menu and you just extract here. Okay, so once that's finished extracting, you can actually go and take the 7-zip, which is, it's 9 gigabytes, and you may as well just delete that. You don't need that in there, it's just taking up space. So get rid of that. And then you can go back out. And here we'll take the Anomaly 1.5.1 updater to 1.5.2. You take that, you pop it into the Anomaly folder, and then you right-click, go into your extractor, and extract here. Now, it'll pop up with, would you like to replace the existing files? And just say yes to all, and it'll replace the relevant files. Okay, now, once that's complete, uh, you can do the same, just delete that 7-zip file, you don't need that in there, it's taking up space. Now this is important. I have made this mistake before, I've installed Gamma a lot of times, and, you know, some successfully, some unsuccessfully, I've, you know, obviously learned <laughs> by doing it so much. But you have to launch the game now, right? So you double-click the EXE, and then this, this lovely menu opens up, and just click play. And there- oh my god, that's loud. Okay, so, you've opened the game, and down in the bottom left you can see it's Anomaly 1.5.2. Uh, that means the update was successful, uh, we've gone from 1.5.1 to 1.5.2. Now, you have to open the game here before you install the rest of Gamma, otherwise it will not work. I've gone through the entire installation and forgotten to do this step. All you have to do is come here to the main menu and then you can just leave again but make sure you don't forget to launch it after you've updated it. So now the next step, you want to make another new folder, and we will call this one just Gamma. And you want to take the RC3 file and pop it in there. Open that up and then just extract it here as well. Okay, so once that's done, you'll have this folder full of all of these wonderful files that are, you know, just intimidating. Uh, also, once again, you want to take the 7-zip file and just delete that. And then what you want to do, you want to go back, you want to grab the downloads.7-zip, pop them into the gamma folder, then uh, find where those are yet, and then just extract them in here as well. Okay, once that's done, uh, they didn't actually get added to this uh, folder here. They all got put into the downloads folder here, so those are all the add-ons for uh, Gamma. Well, maybe all. I'm not sure if that's all of the add-ons, but they're all in the downloads folder there. So what you can do then, you just delete that uh, downloads.7z again, because it's quite large. You don't want that clogging things up. Okay, so once that's done or uh, deleted, go to the Grox mod pack installer folder at the top. And then you want to go to the installer.exe, you want to right-click it, and make sure you click Run as Administrator. And then let that open up. And then the first thing you want to do once it's opened up, you want to click Allow PowerShell Scripts. And then that's, you know, it'll give you a little bit of feedback down here telling you everything it's doing and when it's done and stuff like that. Okay, so once you've done Allow PowerShell Scripts, next you want to launch the MO2, uh, that's Mod Organizer 2, so click that. Uh, it should spit up an error message. There it is. And you just ignore that, just click OK. And then that should open MO2. Oh yeah, this uh, this thing kind of overlaps everything, it gets kind of in the way, so I have a second monitor, I just pop it over to my second monitor when I want to see stuff. If you don't have a second monitor, you know, just kind of drag them out of the way. Um, so then it wants you to find the anomaly folder, the one on the hard drive we had just installed. So we go to browse, and it's, you know, so on mine it's this PC, and then it's the verbatim HD and you want to go to Anomaly, and that's fine. You just click into there, and you go Select Folder. 
and then it's going to set up the the uh, the mod pack. What, what's it called? The MO2. Uh, so it says, do you want the tutorial? Oh, we go no. You don't need the tutorial. And then it will show you this is the mod organizer. We have zero active mods. Uh, doesn't really matter what that is. Um, the NXM links thing. Uh, so we have zero mods. So you just close that now. So then you want to get your uh, installer. Whoa. Yeah, get your installer back over. And you want to click download gamma data next. And that'll take quite a while, usually. And I'm pretty sure you won't be able to move this while it's downloading. So I'm going to put it over onto my other monitor, and then I'm going to click download. So you just want to click download Gamma Data Next. OK, so to know if your uh, Gamma Data is downloaded, just look down here. And it'll say checking the current data version. That's what it does at the start. And then it says it's not up to date, so it'll start getting the uh, the data, and then it'll just say done underneath that when it's finished. It actually only took about one minute for me for a done to pop up. And uh, then what you want to do next is just click full gamma installation. Now, before you click that, uh, like I said, I've got a second monitor. I can just pop that over to my second monitor. But when you do click that, this window is going to get locked in place, and it can take quite a while for the full gamma installation to run. Like, the longest it's ever taken me was two hours. But if we go into the Discord here, I yeah, see, look, it, it, it really does get in the way. And if you can't move it after you click full installation, it's quite a nuisance. So if we go to click full gamma installation. Yeah, before you click that, you can launch a new desktop by pressing Windows key plus tab. Uh, Windows key tab, not no plus similar. <laughs> Then click New Desktop at the top and move the installer and the black window, uh, which is what the, uh, it means this thing. And you can move those both onto your new desktop and you'll be able to use the, uh, the one you're on now. Uh, as for me, I'm just going to chuck it over onto my second monitor and click Full Installation. Now, I've actually already done this in this step. I'm just saying that's, you know, next is Full Gamma Installation. My OBS actually crashed when I recorded this clip moments before, so all of mine is now finished. It took about 20 minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure it took 20 minutes because when you download the little file here, well, what's it called? This one, the one that's just called download, and you unpack that into the um, into the gamma folder, that's, that's most of the add-ons already downloaded, and then it just kind of, I think it just installs them, maybe gets a few other ones, I'm not quite sure, but it was very fast anyway. So if, if you do that, it should save you some time on this step. Yep, like I said, after you click that, this is going to lock in place. So I popped mine over to the second monitor. And um, yep, once that's done, uh, I believe what you do then is launch MO2. Hang on. Oh, yes. Um, once it's done, it will make a shortcut on the desktop for you. Which, you know, it, that, that opens MO2. So we'll open MO2. Uh, yeah, so that error message doesn't matter. It just says the profile default doesn't exist. It'll use gamma instead. And yeah, what you want to see currently is 358 active mods. Um, this is obviously going to change in the future as more mods get added. But right now, an up-to-date version will look like this, 358 mods installed. Okay, so you, you can then close the, um, this, this, you don't need this anymore, whereas the, you need to open the black window and close it there. And then you can run it, and we'll just see if it works. Uh, and apparently, you've got your different um, DirectXs over here. Apparently, DirectX 9 doesn't work. Uh, 11 would be the best, so just go for that. And I have support for AV, AVX CPU on. I'm not sure. I think that might lower the performance, but give you slightly better visuals. Uh, so let's just see if it works. Well, that's a good sign. When you get the gamma splash screen, that means it's definitely, you know, working so far. It's not the anomaly splash screen, at least. So it's trying to open gamma. 
Uh, yeah, if you didn't launch the game when you had just finished updating to 1.5.2 Anomaly, this would probably still say, you know, it, the splash screen would say launching Anomaly, and that would be not good, because then you'd have to start the whole thing again. So definitely don't forget that step. And yep, yeah, there it is. It's running away fine. Uh, if we just click that, we'll get full screen, and it's very loud. Okay, so after turning down the volume there, um, I may as well just launch it. We'll see if the game runs fine. I like this, this all looks good. This is what my gamma looks like when I open it up for a new game. Everything looks fine here. Uh, we'll just start a new game. Okay, yeah, uh, it's loaded up fine. Looks, you know, it looks just like the gamma I have installed on my my SSD. Uh, FOV is a bit. <laughs> A bit lower than what I'd usually have, but, you know, it's definitely working. Um, hello, Spore. How's it going? That's very interesting. I'm just recording a video here for, um, how to install Gamma. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Hello, Balls. I was just watching your Naked and Afraid series. Why are you so shit? Okay, so, um, if you found this tutorial helpful... Or uh, let, let me say, if you found this tutorial unclear, unhelpful, or confusing, please let me know in the comments why, and I will try to... Uh, I'll probably do another one of these when Gamma gets updated or something, so I'll try and make it more clear and more helpful. Like, this is the first tutorial I've ever made, so let me know where the problems lie so that I may fix them in the future. Hopefully this helps, and if it does get Gamma running for you, and I sincerely hope it does, because it is an incredible, incredible game. Um, just the amount of work that's been put in by the modders and by Grox to put all of this together is amazing. It's truly an incredible experience. So I really do hope it gets running for you. Um, but yeah, just do let me know if there's things I could do better to explain it or anything like that. Uh, if you're also also if you're having trouble and you know this this wasn't entirely helpful, you can go to the Discord and uh, into the Gamma Discord, which I will link in the description, and go to where are they? Uh, support default mod list. If you go in there, you'll have people um, explaining why theirs isn't working all these different crashes and stuff, and you got lots of really friendly moderators in here who will try and help you look look at all these error messages, and they'll just try and help you get the game running um, if you're experiencing any difficulty after you've done the installation or anything like that, or even if my help was not enough, you can probably find some help here. There's usually somebody online, or you'll get responded to fairly quickly. Okay, so with all of that said, um, I hope this was helpful, and Thank you for watching. Um, if you like the sound of my voice and you want to check out some more of my videos, I highly recommend watching my Naked and Afraid series where I I play Gamma, I drop all of my starting items, and I <laughs> I attempt to survive and thrive. You know, uh, it, it, Gamma is very difficult, so it you know it doesn't usually go very well, but uh, it's quite fun. So you know, if you want to check that out, give it a go, and uh, I'll I'll pop a bunch of links down in the down in the description there for the Discord, if you want to support Grox or anything like that, or maybe like follow me on Twitter or anything. No, I'm not. I'm not asking for. It. I'm just saying that the links will be there. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Well, I hope it was helpful and you enjoyed it. Uh, bye bye.